What is good? Back for another uh, maybe quick edition. A quick, quick edition. Uh, Swift Crack Dynasty. How are you doing, Casey? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, let's just get right to the point here. I'm not going to ask you how you're doing because see how it feels. Mm, okay. Um, we're going to be doing a little Dynasty talk today, but we're going to be gearing a little bit more towards redraft over the next month. But we'll, we'll do plenty of Dynasty shows. Got a live uh, mock coming at you, trying to do at least once a week. And we're on to the redraft of that. So we've done two of those so far. Hit that Sobe in the noti. So come come get on board with that. You can follow us on Twitter and, and we'll throw out an invite to draft in those drafts as well. Uh, usually leave the last couple of invites up open to, to uh, some some Twitter people if we can get them. If not, then we just find whoever we can get and we roll. Uh, but the patrons uh, get first crack at that uh, as well. So we uh, had the idea of doing some versus videos, got away from us, but wanted to do a couple and, and you know, maybe use it as a springboard of something that we do in season and, you know, want to do next off season as well. Uh, we're talking Dynasty. Uh, we did a little... Uh, Jay Wayne led uh, show on Zeke versus versus so triple versus uh, today we're just gonna do a little little one verse how it's supposed to be that's what versus is uh, you know it's not a cage match not a cage match or a tag team or a you know triple Off threat the or whatever it's a tripod so no big go today bye pod Bye pod. So today we're going to do. What are we doing? You want to hit, hit the topic button? Go you for ready? it. Here it is. We did running backs. We're going to do a little uh, wide receiver here. So Sam, uh, Sam, yeah. Mm. Lamb versus Chase. CDs nuts. All versus right. Jamar Chase. Which uh, which player should we bring up first, Big Casey? You want to? You well, again, ahead? you uh, you are leading the charge here because I have been extremely busy um so and not very encouraging with what i had going on trying to come up with a show he's like ah that sucks i don't want to do that that's stupid I don't <laughs> that's do not that. true at all and then he was like ah he's trying to put in the work let me let him do what he wants to do so we're doing lamb versus chase let's bring up lamb <laughs> that, that came out better than i thought it was gonna come out <laughs> surprised himself my oh, man here, six two one ninety eight. If you weren't sure, nobody loves the Jason joke more than Jason. Trying to fill up the screen. I mean, when it works, when it's good, I like. <laughs> Which it. is a low percentage. Twenty two years old as of April. ADP is nineteen. That's wide receiver seven. He had a pretty decent rookie year. Seventy four receptions, one hundred nine targets, and nine hundred thirty five yards. Six tutties, TDs. Six of them, which is pretty good. I got to give it to my man on the strong year that he had to I go th- with that. I think those are straight facts. Those are definitely straight facts. Straight facts. Keeping it real. 100. Not scared to tell the truth. Ever. Tell the truth. So they are reportedly moving C.D. Lamb all over the formation. He was number two in slot snaps last year with 621. He was primarily in the slot, right? Average 13 Point one points per game, but they're moving him and Gallup all over the place. And so maybe you see CD get some more of those outside opportunities uh, out wide, downfield, which is where he was mostly excelling in college. Uh, was able to transition to, to the slot in, 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 the, in his rookie year and actually really play really well. Um, he was only, but, but, but the problem is playing in the slot, right? He was 12.6 yards per reception, which is not very good. And to give you reference, in 2019 in college, he had 21.4 yards per reception or per catch. So um, not great. Only 23rd in yak. So he's not, he's, I would expect a guy like CD Lamb to maybe have higher yak numbers. Um, but, you know, playing in the slot, shorter stuff. Maybe. Playing on an absolute dumpster fire of a team. Fair. Fair. Um, and, and being a rookie with two other strong professionals where Amari Cooper's been the C.D. Lamb of the league for a, you know a really long time. Just been great. Expected to be great coming out of college and is, has been mostly great. Um, and Michael Gallup is just a fan, an awesome number two. Huge um, value, then, Michael Gallup. Pick him up. 
And now they have their offense. A, a first round pick like Lamb would have came in and been the number one guy, but they already had two guys who were awesome out there. And this team is eventually going to be CD Lamb's team. You saw flashes of it last year. It's every time you turn around, it's just being hyped up in minicamp right now about how great this guy is. And now it's the Cowboys. So it is what it is. And they're going to be on hard knocks. But absolutely ridiculous that the Cowboys were even able to get CeeDee Lamb. Yeah, Eagles blew it. You know, Eagles being Don't doing Eagles idiots. things again. Um, and it just, I love this guy. I, I the whole it was, it was basically my whole thing i was just like he fucks your geometry up like mm -hmm. he just he ruins your angle he can do so many different things on the field and i think he's just going to continue to grow um and eventually this team will be his team um and michael gallup's out of there i believe next year i can't imagine they're gonna br spend the money to bring michael gallup back so gallup's an unrestricted free agent next and, year this is, they know, got him real cheap for this year and then Amar amari's Thompson. still hanging around but that's fine i'm okay with two two guys and at that point it'll probably start to shift to the more cd show than amari show right so i could see them keeping amari amari has an out in 22 where they could cut him with six million dead or they have to pay him 22 million each of the next two seasons, right? Well, I mean, for each season they want to keep him, which is what they're paying him now. It's twenty million dollars a year, basically. So I could see Cooper being worth twenty million dollars a year in two thousand twenty-two, right? And yeah. sticking around, um, and, and maybe not quite yet passing the torch because he's still. I mean, he is coming on. He has his ankle clean up. Don't know what's that. That's about why it, why it took so long or when it happened. I don't know if it's a Michael Tom. It doesn't seem like it's a Michael Thomas situation. But there is definitely room for improvement for CeeDee Lamb moving forward both this year and next year. Uh, and then eventually it will transition over to him being. And I, I love CeeDee Lamb, but I think the reason for this conversation was that I probably would rather take Jamar Chase. Is that I'm bad? I mean, no, it's fine. It's, it's let's pull up Chase here, right? So we got we got my man it's similar looking to. Uh, it's basically to CD. dynasty rookie wide receiver one last year, or dynasty rookie wide receiver one this year, uh, with the advantage going to the guy that I got able to actually see on the field and excel uh, multiple times in actual game action in the NFL. Not that I think that Jamar Chase is not going to be able to play in this league, but I think I got to give the advantage to CD lamb on the, on the fact that I've seen him play and see that he can, he can do what he was doing against yeah. real competition, even with a, a backup quarterback who, with a struggling Andy offensive Dalton. line who was scrambling for his life. And, and, you know, CD did have some drops last year with Andy, um, but, but looking at Chase, right, he's a year younger. Those are facts. Not a big deal, but is a year younger. At, ADP, at this point, it doesn't matter. His ADP is 25, so he's a Especially few spots. For a receiver. He's a few spots after, uh, let's see, six spots after CeeDee Lamb, Jamar Chase is going. He hadn't done anything in the NFL. But the last time he was on a football field, 2019, which is the same year, CeeDee Lamb was also on a college football field. He put up 1,780 yards with 84 receptions and 20 touchdowns and that was obviously with his man Joe Burrow and that would have been good for wide receiver one in the NFL and that was only like I think 12 games or something like that he was a Blitnikoff award winner in that year um, just murdered Clemson in the national championship nine for 221 and two touchdowns he's to me he's everything that CeeDee Lamb is probably plus a little juice I feel like he's got he's got the contested catch prowess I feel like he can separate. He's got it. It's a my ball mentality. He's uber athletic and probably a little bit more athletic. And maybe it's not as good of a situation over there, but he does have his like boy and his quarterback mm -hmm. and some other weapons to compete with. But I think like he's already probably the man there. I mean, maybe. Don't take anything away from T. Higgins. Go yeah. Tigers. But they took him with the fifth overall pick and passed on, a, on a, an amazing tackle and paired him up with Joe Burrow. And, like, if I think about being on the clock in a rookie draft at, like, 1-3 and if Jamar Chase is there, like, I don't know if I'd trade that pick for C.D. Lamb. Like, I think I would take Jamar Chase. I think I would, like, I don't think he can fail. I have no problem trading it for C.D. Lamb. Um, 
I also, I mean, this is, this is a, it's a, it's a fairly tough call. Yeah. I mean, of course. I just give the talent bump a little to, to Jamar Chase, even though I, I know, I mean, I love CeeDee Lamb. Don't get me wrong. I have some CeeDee Lamb. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I, 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 don't, I don't think I can give Chase the talent bump. You don't like, want to give J- Chase no, the talent bump? CeeDee Lamb is absolutely absurd too. Like but, it's but not I'm, like, it, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just think CeeDee Lamb is just going to blossom into being, and it's ridiculous. I mean, not that Jamar Chase isn't going to be great as well, and, and it is nice that he's got Joe Burrow. And Joe Burrow, he's there because, uh, you know, Joe Burrow probably did do some lobbying for uh, lobbies, Jamar Chase. Get rid of him. Um, well, yeah, but that's Hate another lobbies. discussion. Uh, but T and Tyler Boyd are, are, are very good players in their own right. So um, I would assume that that Chase is going to be a little bit more of the the man coming into the Bengals situation, whereas, you know, and the, the Bengals and the Cowboys are not even close to the same universes, franchises, expectations, all, all of those kind of things. So, you know, it's a little easier to be the man over there in Cincinnati right off the rip, whereas coming in there and being the man and especially when it's not a guy like Amari Cooper, who is your number one already, whereas T Higgins was just a rookie last year. Um, and nobody was really touting T Higgins as being great. He just happened to be great or good. I mean, great's probably an overstatement right now, but we know he's on, he's on track strong, to be a really good player. Quite strong. Um, and we know Tyler Boyd's fantastic out of the slot. Which um, they do have an out with his contract in 22 with 4.2 million dead, or they keep him for 8 million. So I don't know if Boyd will be there next year or not. It's a possibility, but that doesn't really matter for me with Chase. I th- just feel like CD just does so many great things yak wise on the field, busting angles, doing all these things. And I'm, you know, Chase can probably, uh, Chase can, I'm sure do all those things. It just seems like, I don't know. I feel like CD almost has a little bit more juice to what he does on the field. Whereas Chase just seems like, you know, it sounds like same, just seems like your standard issue, good receiver. Like, well, he's, CeeDee Lamb was beating dudes after the catch in college. Jamar Chase was scoring 50-yard touchdowns by the handfuls. Like, he was just taking it well, over yeah. the top. I mean, so was a lot of – they threw for they threw like 60 touchdown passes. So, a lot of people were doing that in that offense. Not it's, it's, He didn't get a third – no one else got a third of those touchdowns. Well, I mean, he's he's the alpha. He's the, He was the number one in that offense. I mean, were you gonna, you're going to compare LSU's offense to Oklahoma's offense? Like – that, that was the best college football offense that we had ever seen. You put C.D. Lamb in the situation that Jamar Chase was in, probably does the same goddamn thing. So, like, you know, I think I you just, could. I mean, they're both pretty prolific offenses, and Kyle yeah, but Murray was but, there with But one, Lamb, one of so. them is going down in history as probably the best offense ever in college football. There isn't a, a ooch of conversation that C.D. Lamb's offense was the best college football offense that we've ever seen. That's fair. And if I, yeah, there was you no could, Justin Jefferson on Oklahoma, you can flip team. those players on both teams, and yeah, they would still both be great. But I don't think you would be like, oh, that offense couldn't survive if C.D. Lamb was in place of no, Jamar Chase. I'm not saying and that so it's I think, miles ahead. I'm just and saying, and I don't think putting Chase on the Oklahoma offense would have made that the most best offense ever in the history of college football. So, like, it just happened no, but to be. It, you know, if right you time, right either, place, if you right don't have talent. Chase, it's not gonna. If you don't have Chase or Justin Jefferson or Terrace Marshall or Joe Burrow or Clyde edwards helaire it's not the best offense in the history of college right. football. Right. But for him to dominate the way he did, even amongst all of that talent, I mean, Terrace Marshall was ridiculous in that offense as a freshman. I mean, Justin Jefferson just went in the league and just shut it down. Like, I mean, they right. were, and they I were think all Chase they were all is probably a better slaying. prospect than all those dudes. He's probably, he's definitely a better prospect than Justin Jefferson, but it doesn't, just because you're a better profile of a, like we've seen this a million times, just because you're a better prospect than a profile of a player doesn't mean it's going to necessarily translate into something. That's and fair. I've, I've seen CeeDee Lamb. I'm given the advantage of CeeDee Lamb because I've seen him come in and, and I've seen, watched my eyes, see him do it on an NFL field against NFL defenses and uh, you know, I, I just I think if you I have think, to see it. It's too late. Who I think that? I think the sky is is just the limit for for CD Lamb and and probably Jamar Chase. Like we're probably this is a probably almost like an irrelevant argument conversation of who do you want? Because again, you write the shows next because time. they're probably <laughs> because they're probably gonna. I wasn't saying it that way, uh-huh. um, but the, was, they're probably both going to be really great. Um, but sure. I would have no problem trading the pick 
my rookie pick from Chase to CD Lamb. All right, I'm gonna stick with Chase. I don't give a fuck. I'll do what I want. And it's not. And again, I don't mean to come off as like I'm hating on Jamar Chase. Whatever. Uh, at all. Uh, I just I I really 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 like CD. Somehow Lamb. use the most prolific offense is is negative for him. That was some real big co shit there. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> he helped fuel that thing. Like oh, maybe not, you put CD Lamb in I'm there. Just, it's similar I, what production. I'm, that's but. exactly what I'm saying. Is that it does? I don't think it would have mattered if CD Lamb was in that offense or if Ju, if Jamar Chase was in that offense. I think they would have done. Basically Jamar the Chase same runs thing. a faster forty. Facts. Cl- case closed. Sure. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> He's also two inches shorter. But the same weight, actually three pounds heavier. So he's like thicker up. These are these are deciding facts. Cool. This is yeah. Straight facts. Excellent. <laughs> nah, but I I do think I I think Chase is the better prospect. That's why, and I think he's in a situation that's made for him to succeed. Yeah. You know who else was a better prospect? Hmm. Not that I said. Don't, no, don't I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you did. I'm just I saying, like, in general. Who, like, DK Metcalf? No, Nikhil Harry. Yeah. I mean, well, I wasn't pro he's Nikhil a better, Harry. He's a better I was the biggest Nikhil Harry hater prospect. on the planet. Maybe not for the right reasons. It worked out. Maybe not for the right reasons, but he got hurt. We never really got a fair share at it, but he seems yeah, like an know. idiot. He can't just, stick. How do the Patriots take a dude they know they can't even work with? That's cool. Maybe it was all Tommy. Yeah, so give me CD. Give me Chase. Give me Chase and pull his card up one more time. That settles it. There he is. There he is. That's him in the flesh. Now, I, I want both of them. And you this this year might be maybe the only time that you might be able to still get both of them in a startup draft. You'd have to go bang, bang, and they'd have to be your second and third pick. And you'd have to take two really young wide receivers in the first three rounds. I don't know. If I'm that's fine. ever going to happen for me. I'm Maybe. fine with it if if that's how the board plays out and it it was it was running back heavy and I don't like the way the running backs are, are panning out for me. I can get one running back and then get Jamar and and CD. <laughs> Fuck yeah, into that. All right. Well, let me hit that end music there. It was a real quick one. Yeah. All right. Well, minutes. we'll be back with a. Um, with a redraft uh, live mock on might be doing it on a different day this week so just go ahead and subscribe so, hit that subby yeah. hit that noti I'm out I gotta go to sleep alright y'all appreciate you peace <laughs>